Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So if we have k divided by k plus k plus k is equals to k and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here first we need to find uh, all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that uh, which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move toward the solution of this problem from first method. And here you see that in the denominator, these are the three same variable terms are added by each other. And when we add all of these three values, it will be written as k divided by three times of k is equals to k. And uh, further in the next step, uh, we need more simplifications. And here we move uh, the k from we move 3k from denominator uh, to the right hand side, and it will be written as k is equals to this is k multiplied by 3 times of k. And here we have this is k equals to k multiplied by 3k becomes 3 times of k square. And now here because our uh, claim is to find the values of k so that we move this k uh, from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as this is positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will become a negative and this whole equation is equals to zero. And now you see here both of these two terms involve k so that we take common k from here and we get the remaining values r so here we get this is 3k minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to zero. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k equals to 0 and the second case is we write 3k minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to find the value of k from here. So here we move minus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as 3k is equals to this is minus 1. When we move it into the right hand side it will become plus 1. So here we need to find the values of k so uh, that's why we divide both of the sides by 3 and when we divide both of the sides by 3 it will be written as in this way this 3 and this 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get here the value of k is equals to 1 divided by 3. So uh, the second value of k is 1 over 3 uh, and in the next steps we need to uh, verify that uh, is this values of k uh, be the solution or extraneous roots so for verification uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is k divided by k plus k plus k is equals to k and in this side we will be verify k equals to zero uh, and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 1 over 3. So we need to verify uh, these two values of given equation and uh, when we substitute k equals to 0 uh, into the given question statement it will be written as so when you put it here it will become 0 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. And this case is implies that this is 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0. So here you see that uh, 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the uh, indeterminate form or in other words we just say that uh, it is undefined. If 0 over 0 is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal now we conclude that k equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so that we call k equals to 0 be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and now here we need to verify the second value of k so the second value of k is 1 over 3 and when we put it here it will becomes 1 over 3 divided by this is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equals to 1 over 3 or not okay so uh, further in the next step 
we need more simplification here and you see that this is a one divided by three and this is whole divided by here you see that one is one over three is added by three times and it will be written as three multiplied by one over three and this is equals to one over three or not this is the our claim and uh, in the next step here we need a little bit more simplifications and it will be written as this three and this three are cancelled out by each other and here we get a one over three is equals to one over three here you see that clearly both of the sides are equal and if both of the sides are equal this means that the value of k equals to 1 over 3 is satisfied our given question statement so that we have the solution set of this problem is k equals to 1 over 3. So this is the only one solution of the given equation which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem from second method. And in second method, uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here uh, so that our given question statement is k divided by k plus k plus k equals to k. So here our second method be the very quickest method here we quickly get the values of k. Uh, so if you focus uh, in the denominator side, we will get here k divided by k plus k plus k becomes three times of k is equals to k and uh, this implies that uh, here we see that this k and this k are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 divided by 3 is equals to k so here we get the value of k equals to 1 over 3 it means that in the second method we get only one value of k that is 1 over 3 and in the first method we already verify that this value of k is satisfied our given question statement so that finally we have the solution set of this problem is k equals to 1 over 3. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.